Welcome to Cute eLearning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the creep and stress rupture. Description of damage. At high temperatures typically greater than half the absolute melting temperature in degree Rankin or degree Kelvin metal. Components can continuously deform under load, even below their elastic yield stress. This time-dependent deformation of stressed components is known as creep. As illustrated in figure, creep occurs in three stages. Primary, or stage one secondary, or stage 2, and tertiary, or stage 3. Stage 1 or primary, creep occurs at the beginning of the tests, and creep is mostly transiently, not at a steady rate. Resistance to creep increases until stage 2 is reached. In stage 2, or secondary creep, the rate of creep becomes roughly steady. This stage is often referred to as steady state creep. In stage 3, or tertiary creep, the creep rate begins to accelerate as the cross-sectional area of the specimen decreases due to necking or internal voiding decreases the effective area of the specimen. If stage 3 is allowed to proceed, fracture will occur. Affected materials All metals and alloys Critical factors the rate of creep deformation, creep rate or strain rate, is a function of the material, applied stress, and temperature. Creep rate is very sensitive to relatively small changes in temperature or stress. Generally, a temperature increase of about 25 degrees Fahrenheit 15 degrees Celsius or a 15% increase in stress can cut the remaining life in half, or worse, depending on the alloy. As illustrated in table, table lists threshold temperatures above which creep damage is a concern. If the metal temperature exceeds these values, then creep damage and creep cracking can occur. The life of metal components becomes nearly infinite at temperatures below the threshold limit, even at the high stresses near a crack tip. Creep cracking, once initiated, can progress rapidly. Increased stress due to loss in thickness from corrosion will reduce time to creep failure. The appearance of creep cracking with little or no apparent deformation usually indicates that the material has low creep ductility. Affected units or equipment Creep damage is found in high temperature equipment operating in the creep temperature range. Heater tubes in fired heaters, as well as tube supports, hangers, and other furnace internals, as well as high pressure steam tubes, 
in boilers, can be susceptible to creep. Hot wall catalytic reforming reactors, reactor piping, furnace tubes, hydrogen reforming furnace tubes. Hot wall FCC reactors, an FCC main fractionator and regenerator internals all operate in or near the creep temperature range. Low creep ductility failures have occurred in weld heat affected zones, at nozzles and other high stress areas, in 1 1 4th chromium, 1 half molybdenum, catalytic reformer reactors. Welds joining dissimilar materials such as ferritic to austenitic welds, may suffer creep related damage at high temperatures due to differential thermal expansion stresses. Appearance or morphology of damage The initial stages of creep damage can only be identified by scanning electron microscope metallography. Creep voids typically show up at the grain boundaries. As illustrated in figure, typical scanning electron microscope image of creep voids at 500x. At later stages, they grow into micro fissures and then cracks. At temperatures well above, the threshold limit, noticeable deformation may be observed. For example, heater tubes may suffer long-term creep damage and exhibit significant, measurable bulging before rupture occurs. The amount of deformation before fracture is highly dependent on the material and the combination of temperature and stress level as illustrated in figures creep rupture of an hk40 heater tube and a pinched alloy 800h pigtail with opened up creep fissures on the surface Prevention slash mitigation There is little that inspectors or operators can do to prevent this damage once a susceptible material has been placed into creep service other than to minimize the metal temperature particularly with fired heater tubes Avoiding stress concentrations I, S important during, design and fabrication. Low creep ductility, can be minimized by, the careful selection and, specification of materials. Higher PWHT, in some cases can produce, a more creep ductile material, with longer life. Inspection and monitoring. Creep deformation and the associated microvoid formation, fissuring, and dimensional change are not effectively found by any one inspection technique. A combination of proper NDE techniques, surface and volume trick dimensional measurements, and field metallographic replication are often needed. Destructive sampling and metallographic examination are generally used to confirm damage.
related mechanisms to creep and stress rupture are short-term overheating stress rupture stress relaxation cracking and dissimilar metal weld cracking creep and stress rupture summary description at high temperatures metal components can slowly and continuously deform under load below the yield stress that may eventually lead to a rupture temperature range above threshold temperatures for creep affected metallurgy all metals and alloys prevention temperature control and avoiding stress concentrators is important during design and fabrication control chemical composition and higher pwht may help minimize creep cracking of materials with low creep ductility inspection methods combination of proper NDE techniques, dimensional measurements and replication. Visual testing and followed by liquid penetrant testing or wet fluorescent magnetic particle testing on several year interval and angle beam, shear wave, ultrasonic testing, destructive sampling and metallographic examination. Practice time. Question number one. Remaining life will be reduced to half in a creep susceptible material if Answer is A. Question number two. What is the threshold temperatures for creep of carbon steel? Answer is D. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.